Well, here she is. I feel like my bookshelf is what the inside of like Wendy Williams' mind looks like because you know, she's messy. I can explain. I can explain not why I look like somebody's pimp right now, but why my shows are in a condition that they're in. So you see, despite popular belief, I do in fact film YouTube videos. They just never see the light of day. They're like little worms that burrow into the ground and only come out when there's a really good rain. I'm not even sure if that's accurate, but we're gonna go with it. Every one out of 10 YouTube videos that I film is actually postable or tolerable. Never good. I mention all of this because as you film YouTube videos, you grab various books from your shelf. For example, I was talking about my favorite book series of all time in my last video, which I forgot was going up, and I had to pull out my The Cruel Prince book series, or The Folk of the Year, don't kill me. As you start pulling books from various different areas, and um, obviously not putting them back, you're also pulling out your merch. I have no idea where the little knickknacks on my shelves were originally, but um, right now they are in a state of distress, so that sucks for them. I feel like my bookshelves kind of represent or reflect how I am currently feeling with myself. And this intro is already way too long and we don't have time to unpack all of that, so let's get to the main event. plants that I found for like a dollar at Myers, and I got them and just put them in some little uh, jars or jugs or mugs thank you brain <laughs> I feel like Spongebob and I want an episode where like the brain was looking for his name and it's like what's his name what's his name what's his name what's his name I got nothing on a name come on baby what's the name I realized that that comparison made no sense, but unfortunately, there was no way I could cut that out and still have a cohesive video. So please accept it for what it is. Stupid. And yet, it's not cohesive anyways. Why? Because I ended up comparing one of my plants that wasn't growing strong to Happy Feet, a movie that I have never seen, but I know it's about a penguin that this doesn't quite fit in and tap right or something like that. So at the time, my mind thought that this was the obvious comparison because when one thinks flowers, who doesn't think about the penguins that live in the Arctic? Especially flowers that are dying and penguins that apparently can't dance. I guess he couldn't be in their production of Hamilton. <laughs> The fact that I, Aaron, I love Shadowhunter so much, Pascal, 
has not read Chain of Gold yet, burn me at the stake. I do not understand why I have not read this book yet and why I'm not tempted to. Whenever I feel like somebody's about to spoil it on my timeline, I... I hide. I hide. I don't want to see it. My knees hurt now, but I don't want to see it. I need to get to it. It was on my list read this in September list. But now I've ended up reading next to nothing in September, and I plan on talking about this in a video that I may post 1 out of 10. 1 out of 10. I just really want to read this book, but something's keeping me away from it. I think it has to be winter. I think I need snow because I remember I like read the dark artifices in the winter. Then I remember binge rereading the Emperor Devices in January. Yeah, maybe that's it. It's the weather's fault, not mine. sneeze though I think about this comment I got like years ago I think on like a room tour video that I did because I need something to post and it was like your sneeze say yak and I just think about the person who commented that all the time now I remember their username I'm not gonna say it because I just feel like that's do they want that attention I don't know they know who they are and I miss them I haven't got a comment from them ever again and it's like one and done <laughs> Blah blah blah. All I was saying was that I'm at the store running some errands and I decided to look for neat things for my bookshelf. Blah blah blah. Okay, before I go into a tangent, I would just like to clarify that I do not <laughs> wait the irony of before I go into a tangent, but I do not support Miss JK Rowling. I was cold, I saw a sweatshirt in my drawer. I put it on and I did not think about what the sweatshirt was. I apologize. Please know that I did not support her. She is a racist, homophobic, transphobic bigot, upon many other things. So I just got back from TJ Maxx and I got a couple of new things for myself. Overall, I'm really happy with what I got, so I'm not like mad at a couple of things. It was really just like three. Um, this is just cut of corn. I'm obviously going to eat this and not put it on my shelf. The next thing I got was this llama pencil cup. I hope you guys can see this well. Prayer. Living on a prayer. I just really like llamas because they remind me of The Sims. And even though that is a steadily dying franchise, as it should be. So while I was at TJ Maxx, I decided that I wanted to start collecting something new because I saw them and I thought they were so cute. And that is little teapots or cups. I mean, I don't drink tea <laughs> or coffee, but who says I can't put some nice juice in here? I've never really been a traditional gal. I got this I love my husband mug. Can you? No, you can't see it. Dang. Have I been blurry? It says I love my husband. There we go. Hello my beautiful friends, please prepare yourself for a series of time jumps that you will only understand as time goes on. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try and use my best handwriting. I'm not going to write like along here because I think that's going to be like too long and ugly. I love my book husband. This is way backwards for you. Ooh, I could rub it off. But I'm not going to. It gets the job done. I'm not mad about it. <gasps> I'm gonna write their names. I wish I had a different color Sharpie. Um, let me see if I do. Oh, oh, there's a red in here. Okay. Okay. Cal Rush, Connor Cobalt, Nino Falcone, Remo Falcone, Peter Kavinsky, and Jim Carstairs made the cup. So good for them. <laughs>
So I have a couple more books left on my floor here. And most of them I'm going to just be putting at the tippity top of it all. But some of these books I am seriously considering giving away. As I mentioned earlier, I am over Harry Potter. I never really fell in love with the books. I did fall in love with the world of Harry Potter and the love that other people had for it as well as the movies. But I actually only read the books in like ninth grade and I can't really remember them compared to the movies. I didn't annotate them or anything which is good for me. Also I am seriously debating giving up the Montague sibling series. I read The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue the year it came out and I fell in love with this book. It is still one of the funniest books I've ever read but Mackenzie Lee is equally as problematic and it's like I just love both of her books so much, especially this one, but at the same time I want to make it very clear that I do not like this author. And you can only separate the art from the artist so much. So part of me is like, just keep these books that I enjoyed and read them and enjoy them, but maybe don't recommend them. Or should I just completely give them up and be done with it? I don't know. You guys can tell me what to do. I'm not going to say I'll listen to your suggestion, but I will read it and I will consider it. For right now, I think I'm probably just going to either just keep them one of the bottom shelves right here or maybe just put it at the top of my closet and uh, we'll go from there. Mm -hmm.